Could these studies on CBD lead to a cure or even a, a remedy, a, some, some help for Alzheimer's? Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Geeky science just blew my mind. Now, first of all, the caveats. This was published in Genetics, Neurology, Neuroscience, and, and also uh, the research came out of the Dental College of Georgia. And you say, what? No, they actually, you know, the... Dentistry is part of medicine, and they do actual medical research there, and, and some very sophisticated research, actually. And they decided to look into, the, now the other caveat, they decided to look into the mouse model with Alzheimer's. They have been able, they've, they've found, you know, there's a genetic peculiarity that some very small number of humans have that causes them to develop Alzheimer's in their 20s and 30s. It's very rare. But they've identified the specific gene that causes this. And it produces the same kind of amyloid plaque neurofibrillary tangles in the brain um, that are characteristic of Alzheimer's that develops in people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And so they thought, okay, let's, let's, and so they were able to breed these mice with the same genetic lack, uh, this hole that, that humans have who have this early onset Alzheimer's problem. And then with those mice, they gave them CBD to see what happens. And it wasn't, you know, just that simple. Hey, let's throw some CBD at some mice. They were specifically looking at a couple of proteins, the TREM2 protein and the IL33 protein. These proteins are used by the brain to basically do cleanup. You know, like the guy who walks behind the elephant in the circus, they take dead cells in the brain. The brain is constantly, you know, turning over cells just like every other organ in the body. Cells have a limited lifetime, especially neurons. And I mean, there's some cell, the glial cells, you know, last a little longer, but uh, in fact, a lot longer. But, but um, so it's like these proteins are involved in that cleanup process. And when the cleanup process fails, that seems to be one of the signals or one of the, one of the main kind of hallmarks of Alzheimer's because then these, these proteins start building up in the brain and you get these plaques and, and then, you know, uh, it, it begins with loss of short-term memory, uh, loss of long-term memory, um, loss of, of the ability to walk normally. There's gait changes and all these changes you see in mice. And what they, what they found was that CB, and, and the, also the protein IL-6, which regulates inflammation. And it appears that one of the other problems in Alzheimer's is that this IL-6 protein kind of goes nuts and produces an inflammatory response in the brain. There is one theory that this might be in response to a virus or some, some other kind of invasion of the brain. But the IL-6 protein goes nuts, and as a result, you know, boom, you've got a bunch of uh, the response to inflammation is killing tissues and you've got a bunch of dead tissue and then the TREM2 and the IL-33 proteins can't do their job. Um, and, I'm, and I'm probably horribly mangling the science here, but, you know, of, of the layman's reading that I'm doing this um, uh, lays this out. So, so what does CBD do? Well, CBD improves the expression of the triggering receptor expressed on myeloid cells. That's the TREM2 uh, protein, which is found on the cell surface, where it combines with another protein to transmit signals that activate cells, including immune cells. Um, these are key to, invading, to eliminating invaders like a virus or, or irrevocably damaging neurons. Low levels of the TREM2 protein and rare variations in TREM2 are associated with Alzheimer's. And that was the case in their mouse models. Both TREM2 and IL-33 were low. Both are essential to a natural ongoing housekeeping process in the brain called phagocytosis, if I'm pronouncing that right, in which micro, microglial cells uh, regularly consume beta amyloid, which is regularly produced in the brain. This is the stuff that builds up. So what they found was, uh, for the published studies, CBD was put into the belly of the mice every other day for two weeks. This was fairly high dose to the mice. We don't have human dose information. We haven't even tried this on humans yet. But they, they conclude CBD should be at least equally effective in the more common non-familial type of Alzheimer's. This is the, this is the summary. A two-week course of CBD helps normalize and restore the function of two proteins associated with reducing amyloid beta accumulation in mouse models of familial Alzheimer's disease. In other words, a genetically transmitted Alzheimer's disease. CBD also reduces the levels of IL-6 an immune protein associated with inflammation seen in Alzheimer's patients. I think this is astonishing. 
And, you know, the uh, CBD, of course, is a component of marijuana, but you can also buy it legally now in the United States. A few years ago, Congress essentially legalized hemp and its products, and that includes CBD. And so there's no shortage of companies that are happy to sell it to you. Uh, that doesn't get, and it doesn't get you high. And, uh, in, and in fact, it's become, you know, super hip now. They, they make skin creams with CBD. <laughs> and, but, you know, this is, this, again, the caveat. This is a mouse study. They haven't done this on humans. Um, but uh, with that said, just my own personal opinion, this is, this is not, you know, the, the hard science. Um, but it appears that there are very few side effects, if any, associated with CBD use. And if this can ward off Alzheimer's, this could be a game changer. You know, I really hope that this uh, research is, is replicated in humans. I'll be astonished if it's not. And I uh, yeah, just wanted to share it with you.